Okay, today we are going to clarify that what UK IELTS B1 is all about and who requires it, what is the purpose of requirement. There are two types of B1 tests, one which comprises of listening and speaking. The second one is of four components in that you have to take actually your listening, reading, writing and speaking module as a whole. Why people call it B1 test? In IELTS, in total there are nine bands. Like for listening you'll be having nine, same it's the case with reading, writing and speaking. So for UK IELTS B1, what a candidate is supposed to have in each component, by each component I mean that listening, reading, writing and speaking. They need to score four each. If they are scoring four overall or 4.5 overall but less than four in any of the component, it means they are below than B1 level in individual cases. Sometimes students, those who score something like 4.5, 5 or 5.5, their level is B1, but let's say that they fall in any of the skill less than 4, like in listening they are having 3.5 or in reading they are having 3.5, overall their level would be B1, but the case won't be accepted because of the reason that they would fall in any of the individual skill. Now where UK VIS B1 is required, recently general visas announced by United Kingdom, the requirement for all those technical visas, either a health worker, a person willing to work in old age houses, as a caretaker, construction, working in butchery field or some other technical visas, their requirement is UK VI B1. If a candidate is going to take either his or her test simply listening and speaking module, that will not be acceptable. Another one reason is that whosoever is taking test for UK, they need to go through UK VIELTS test. If they are going to appear in standard IELTS, again, no matter they scored beyond their requirement, I mean beyond their requirement that if they score even 6 or 6 plus, which is B2 level, B1 from 4, 4.5 to 5.5, it is B1 onward, 6 and 6.5 that would become as B2 level. If he or she is scoring in standard IELTS, something like beyond B1 level, I mean B2 or even C1, it won't be acceptable. Why? Because their requirement is UK VIELTS. So candidates, they need to be clear that in each module they are supposed to score at least four band. The second one thing is that instead of standard IELTS, they have to appear in UK VIELTS test because it is the requirement of UK that you have to go through UK VIELTS test instead of standard IELTS test. This is what for your B1 level all these information are about. So before applying or preparing for your test, you have to be clear that what you need to go through and what you need to register yourself for. That is all related to B1 test information.